this video, we are exploring a mill built in 1844, which suffered catastrophic water damage, cave-ins on multiple floors, and something really surprising in the basement. The front of the property offered almost no cover during entry, so we had to time it perfectly so we weren't seen by traffic. Hey, hold up. As we made our way to the entry point, a truck pulled up to the property with a clear view of where we were going. The area offered no cover between us and them. The entire area around the building was dry grass and gravel. It was almost impossible to move any closer without making enough noise to give away our position. So we moved alongside the building, searching for another way in. So we're going to have to stay right up against the wall, go through those trees over there and hopefully they won't see us. We got close to the side of the building and decided to scout a new entry point. Go look in that window and see if there's a way into the basement. Leanne? You can get that in here. That was blonde. God. We lucked out with an entrance through a basement window. Now the problem was the entire section of the mill was completely collapsed. Debris made navigating the basement difficult, and what remained of the floor above us was extremely unstable and prone to collapse if we made the wrong move. Over time, the mill fell into disrepair. But in recent years, a group of dedicated volunteers works tirelessly to restore the mill to its former glory. Despite the efforts of the restoration project, the mill remains a haunting and captivating symbol of a time when progress came at a heavy cost. Its dark and brooding presence serves as a reminder of the toll that the industrialization took on workers and their families, and of the sacrifices that were made in the name of progress. I think maybe we need to go down um, straight ahead. Well, there's some stairs, but they don't look promising. Yeah, that's pretty much where the stairs end. Watch out for the nails on your left side. I know. I'm on them. Our goal is to make it to that door, right? No, we're actually going over towards this garage door here. Oh. Throughout the entire mill, we could hear the sound of rushing water, but we couldn't tell where it was coming from. We decided to explore a little bit more in the basement and notice that the sound was getting louder, and that's when we found the very unexpected source of the noise. The mill was initially powered by water from the nearby dam. In the late 19th century, the mill had large turbines installed to generate electricity for the machinery. At some point after its abandonment in 2008, this pipe ruptured and has been blowing water into the mill ever since. Yeah. Two more vehicles parked out front, so we cut our exploration short just to be safe. Thanks for following on our adventure. Make sure to like and subscribe to catch all of our upcoming videos.